Question number seven, Clayton Mitchell. Mr. Speaker, thank you. My question is to the Minister of Workplace Relation and Safety and asks, <clears throat> does he stand by his statement, it's important to strike the right balance between safe workplaces for workers and unnecessary red tape on businesses, and I'm confident we have landed in the right space? Mr. Speaker. Honourable Michael Woodhouse. Good Mr. Speaker. Yes, I am confident that the Health and Safety Reform Bill as amended is sensible, workable, and, I will, and will make a real difference to improve New Zealand's unacceptable safety record and it will contribute to the government's commitment of achieving of its, its goal of at least a 25 per cent reduction in workplace death and injury by 2020. Supplementary question, Mr. Supplementary Speaker. question, Clayton Mitchell. Uh, what assurances can the Minister give to small and medium-sized businesses that WorkSafe New Zealand inspectors won't become revenue collectors at the expense of SMEs? Mr. Speaker. The Honourable Michael Woodhouse. Well, Mr. Speaker, the overwhelming uh, number of offences for which a fine is levied is levied by the courts, not WorkSafe at all. And I simply reject the notion that WorkSafe has that as its raison d'etre. Supplementary question, Mr. Speaker. Supplementary question, Clayton Mitchell. Why has the Minister ignored personal responsibility of staff to look after their personal protection equipment, or PPE? leaving small and medium-sized businesses to carry the financial costs of damage or loss of this equipment by employees? And will he amend Section 28 of the new Health and Safety Reform Bill to rectify this? Speaker. The Hon. Michael Woodhouse, either uh, of those Speaker, two supplementary questions. Well, the, the answer to the second part of the question is no, because um, while uh, PCBUs will be required to provide PPE, nothing prevents them under other employment law or civil jurisdiction from claiming the costs of damage, particularly when it's done in a, gross, a grossly negligent way. A supplementary question, Clayton Mitchell. Will the government help small business by funding the health and safety representative training for small and medium businesses as they face the ever-increasing and crippling workplace compliance costs? Uh, the Mr. Honourable Speaker. Michael Woodhouse. Mr Speaker, the government already invests heavily in health and safety um, uh, training and education. There is a contribution by the uh, workplace, the PCBU, as they are the primary beneficiaries, and I think we've got that balance right. Supplementary question, Ian Lees Galloway. Will farming be one of the high risk industries that will be required to have health and safety representatives, even if a business has fewer than 20 employees? Uh, the Honourable Michael Woodhouse. Mr. Speaker, the uh, decision on which industries constitute high or low risk has not yet been made, but I intend to bring guidance to the House in advance of the Committee of the Whole. A supplementary question, Marama Fox. Uh, tēnā koe, te mana whakawā, he pātairi o Māori tēnei. Uh, e te minita. Mo aua mahi ngā whakawhara, arā e pērā ana ki ngā mahi ono rākau, forestry, he nui ke ngā kai mahi Māori. He aha o mahi ki a mōhi o paitia, he māngai hei tautoko i ngā kai mahi katoa. Mr. Speaker. Honourable. That whole question, could I ask that the question be repeated again so I can get my earpiece in? Order. Order. Was, it, was the member unable to hear the translation? No, no I didn't hear it. Listen. Order. To, to order. I'm here to assist the House. On this occasion, I'm going to ask the Honourable. Uh, the, Manama Fox to repeat the question for the benefit of the translator so that all members can hear it. Kia ora, te mana whakawā. Patai ta peri. He, he pai pe he honore. Uh, <coughs> e te minita, mo aua mahi ngā whakawhara, arā e pērā ana ki ngā mahi ono rākau, forestry, he nui ke ngā kai mahi Māori. He aha o mahi, ki a mōhi o peitia, he māngai hei tautoko i ngā kai mahi katoa. Mr Speaker. The Honourable Michael Woodhouse. Well, Mr Speaker, I don't want to get ahead of the advice that officials will give on uh, which industries will fall into which box, but I, I certainly, uh, contrary to the, some of the scaremongering that's been going on from the opposition, loggers and forestry workers, for example, will certainly be considered high risk under any definition. Um, 
it wouldn't be helpful for me to start speculating more broadly on what those um, industries might be before I get the advice from MIMB, but I will continue to work with the Maori Party uh, behind the scenes, as we have, and I appreciate their support. Question number eight.